The world's most advanced torpedo has been declared ready for frontline action with the Royal Navy and undergone extensive deep water trials with HMS Audacious in the Bahamas. During the trials, five torpedo shots were carried out by HMS Audacious, the 4th Royal Navy Astute class nuclear-powered submarine, with excellent results. After acquiring initial capabilities, it is important to test the weapon in a complex environment, in order to obtain more data about its performance. One of its main goals is to observe whether the torpedo will perform well at its maximum operating depth and when challenged through precautions. The firings at AUTEC, the Atlantic Undersea Test and Evaluation Center on Andros Island, studied the performance of the weapon at its maximum operating depth and challenged the torpedo's homing abilities through the introduction of countermeasures. The trials in the Bahamas were the latest in a string of crucial tests on the upgraded heavyweight torpedo since the decision was taken to enhance it in 2010. The souped-up Spearfish, known as the Mod 1, features a new warhead, new safer fuel system, a smarter electronic bra and a fiber-optic guidance link with its parent submarine to improve its accuracy and lethality. These trials took place after initial operating capability was achieved, meaning work can now begin turning existing Spearfish into the improved Mod 1 version for entry into operational service with all Royal Navy submarines by 2025. Spearfish has been the silent service's weapon of choice for taking out foes on and below the waves for nearly 30 years, capable of crippling frigates, destroyers and large warships, as well as hostile submarines. Commodore Bob Anstey Royal Navy, the senior officer responsible for the program and deputy director submarines, said, I am delighted to be able to formally declare that the Spearfish program's Mod 1 Spearfish torpedo has reached initial operating capability, the culmination of a great effort from across the whole Spearfish team, including our partners across industry. Whilst we remain focused on the ultimate aim of providing the full Spearfish Mod 1 operational capability, the team should be congratulated on achieving this important milestone, a critical step in the process of maintaining the effectiveness of the Royal Navy's submarine-launched heavyweight torpedo for years to come. Even after initial capability is declared, important data still has to be collected on the torpedo's performance in a range of environments. That is why Audacious and the Spearfish team headed to Atlantic Undersea Test and Evaluation Center, the principal proving ground of subsurface warfare on the world's oceans. The ranges off Andros Island, southwest of Nassau are centered on a 6,000 feet deep natural phenomenon, the tongue of the ocean, a huge deep water bowl carved out of coral reef, which resembles the Rolling Stones' famous tongue logo. To this natural wonder is added humanity's ingenuity, the tongue is crammed with sensors and hydrophones to record reams of data on how well a submarine or torpedo is performing. The Spearfish torpedo is the heavy torpedo used by the submarines of the Royal Navy. It can be guided by wire or by autonomous active or passive sonar, and provides both anti-submarine warfare and anti-surface ship warfare capability. Spearfish development began in the 1970s, with production starting in 1988, and deployment in 1992. By 2004, they had completely replaced the older Tigerfish torpedo. It is said to be one of the most advanced torpedoes in the world, and also the fastest torpedo ever produced. The torpedo is driven by a pump jet coupled to a Hamilton Sunstron 21TP04 gas turbine engine using Otto Fuel 2 and hydroxyl ammonium perchlorate as oxidizer. The addition of an oxidizer improves the specific energy of the fuel by reducing the fuel richness of the Otto fuel. The Spearfish, which are capable of traveling at 80 knots were designed to catch high-speed, deep-diving Soviet threats such as the Alpha-class submarine. A microprocessor enables the torpedo to make autonomous tactical decisions during the attack. 
It has a powerful blast warhead, triggered by either contact detonation against a submarine hull or an acoustic proximity fuse for under-keel detonation against ships. A standoff detonation under the keel enhances blast effects against surface ships through the amplification of stress resulting from the interaction of the explosion's products and the flexible structure of the ship. In a typical engagement, Spearfish will run out wire-guided to the general vicinity of the target and then conduct a covert passive search. The high-capacity guide wire system, specifically designed to match the Spearfish's maneuver and speed envelope, provides two-way data exchange between the torpedo and launch submarine, maximizing the submarine's organic sensor and combat control capabilities. Once at close range the Spearfish uses active sonar to classify and home in on its target. High-power transmissions and sophisticated signal processing enable Spearfish to accurately discriminate targets from background noise and ensure high resistance to acoustic countermeasures or evasive maneuvers. Should Spearfish fail to hit the target on its first attack, it automatically selects an appropriate re-attack mode until it successfully concludes the engagement. On 15 December 2014, the Ministry of Defence awarded Bay Systems a £270 million contract to upgrade the Spearfish torpedo. The upgrade includes a new insensitive munition warhead from TDW, a change to the fuel system to improve safety, full digitization of the weapon and a new fiber-optic guidance link to improve performance. The Spearfish upgrade will ensure the submarine service continues to possess a very credible weapon system capable of dealing with potential future threats.